WABC 10 News Pinpoint Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. Welcome back everyone and happy Wednesday to you. We have made it halfway through your work week and we have very pleasant conditions in store. So again, if you liked yesterday's conditions, you will certainly like to what today and even tomorrow have in store. But first, let's go ahead and kick things off from our Mount Soledad camera and look at those conditions currently in La Jolla. We're sitting at 47 degrees, but it feels like 49. So it definitely feels a little warmer than it really is. And winds are relatively calm at last check out of the east and we're about five, seven minutes or so until that sun fully rises. But again, it is already light up the sky and giving way for a gorgeous sunrise. Other temperatures across the board were hanging out in the 40s from Carlsbad all the way to IB. Meanwhile, 37 degrees, so five above freezing still in spots like Oceanside, a little warmer in spots like Fallbrook along the 15 in the 50s and upper 30s along the 8 in El Cajon currently. So despite a lot of those cool temperatures on the board, we're actually waking up a little warmer in comparison to yesterday. We're talking about a 2 to 10 degree increase, uh, especially along the South Bay neighborhoods where we're seeing a 9 degree increase in Chula Vista and in Hamul. Meanwhile, two degrees warmer in spots like Ramona. As we give you a deeper dive into those microclimates, today's highs along the coastal areas are going to top out in the 60s. Tons of sunshine. And by the afternoon, again, most of us are going to average the low 60s. Some areas are going to see the upper 60s and those overnight lows as we get into the evening hours are going to be still very cool in the upper 40s, but still a little warmer than what we are seeing this morning. As we take a look to uh, Thursday, again, we get a couple of degrees warmer and then we cool down as a low pressure system arrives, replacing the high pressure uh, that's been spoiling us with sunny conditions. So looking ahead to that marine layer, it will make a return as early as Friday morning, which means we could run into some pockets of dense fog, especially if you're traveling out the door Friday morning or even Saturday, and that'll be the story for the first half of the weekend as well. We cool down for the, again Friday and Saturday, and then we get a little warmer looking ahead to the latter part of your weekend into early next week. Meanwhile, inland areas will be warm and sunny uh, as we take a look at that hour by hour forecast along the inland areas by the afternoon will be in the mid to upper 60s. A lot of areas 5 to 10 degrees warmer. And then as we look ahead to tomorrow, that's going to be the warmest day of our seven day outlook. So typically we're used to seeing mid to upper 60s from Escondido to El Cajon. We'll top out in the low 70s, so it'll be about a five degrees difference or so, but much closer to average temperatures in comparison to what we've been seeing over the past several days. As we take a look ahead towards your weekend, here are some of the highlights cooling. As I mentioned Friday, the marine layer returning and extending towards a lot of those inland communities and looking ahead to Sunday. That's when warmer temperatures make a return into our county. As we take a look, nothing but sunshine for the next several days. Again, our warmest day being tomorrow. Meanwhile, mountain areas will remain pretty breezy, but mild. We'll hang out in the mid to upper 50s, low 50s by Friday. Desert areas, nothing but sunshine, close to 80 degrees. Looking ahead to tomorrow towards the latter part of the weekend and then getting a little cooler Saturday and Sunday. Virginia.